I cannot believe I'm filming my first fall tutorial of 2019. Honestly, it feels so weird. I have such mixed emotions about it because I am such a summer person. I love warm weather. If it could be summer year round, I would be the happiest person ever. And I do really love fall, but I hate winter. I hate being cold and living in Pennsylvania makes that extremely difficult for me because it's cold from about like October to March or April. Honestly, it's just not a good time. So I figured I would dive into a fall makeup look today by just using your classic fall tones and shades that you think of. For me, whenever it comes to fall, I think of those kind of burnt rusty shades like when you see the leaves turning and changing colors you kind of get those oranges those reds those kind of like mustardy burnt oranges those yellows you know I'm all about it so I figured I would kind of just throw a bunch of shades on my lid and kind of see where it took me and I created this eye look right here this is actually super super simple but it's also a quick beat so I already have my foundation done in this video I'm just showing you guys the eye look if you are interested in seeing the foundation that I have on now it's the same thing I did in my last video so I link that down below if you guys want to check it out if you guys are ready to see how to get this look then just keep watching okay so the first thing I'm doing is just lining up some tape on my outer corner just to ensure that I get a nice crisp line for today's look I was just kind of feeling that more precise look and now I'm dipping into my James Charles palette and I'm taking this more paley yellow shade right here this is in the shade tune and I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna focus on putting this in my transition area I want to make sure that I'm blending this in from my crease and my upper upper crease up towards my brow bone. I'm not bringing this down onto the lid, but if it gets onto the lid, that's not a big deal because it is a lighter shade. Now I'm picking up my Morphe E17 brush and with the shade Code James, I'm going to focus this a little bit tighter in my crease. This is just going to help to build a little bit of definition, but it's also going to help to add a little bit more warmth into that area to help all of these shadows that we put on later kind of blend really nicely into each other because most of the shadows are those warmer tones. Now just to be a little extra, of course, I'm going to go in and cut my crease. So I'm picking up my Morphe Wet Concealer and my Morphe M421 brush. I love this as a combination, this brush and this concealer for cut creases. I also really love using my Morphe M224 brush, but I've been using this brush more recently and I really like it because it is smaller so you get a little bit more control over the product. You guys have seen me do this a million and one times. I honestly almost do this every time I do my shadow just to really brighten up that lid area, but now I'm dipping into my Bretman Rock and ColourPop lip palette and I'm taking the shade Cleo Amore and I'm going to focus on packing this into the very first part of my lid. I want to kind of focus on having it be a lighter more mustardy yellow shade into a more pumpkin orange shade and then back into like an olive more green shade. So I'm really going to focus on building up this pigmentation in this area and then once I'm happy with that I'm dipping into my Urban Decay Born to Run palette and I'm taking the shade Baja. It is more of this muted burnt orange shade. Now I'm going to dip into my James Charles palette again, and I'm going to take this dark green shade in the shade Daddy. This is a beautiful matte green shade, and I'm going to focus this on my outer corner. This is why I put the tape down, because it's really going to help to create a nice crisp wing and a nice crisp line. I'm also going to focus on bringing that shade through the crease, just to add a little bit of definition through there. I didn't do that before I cut the crease, because I don't want this to be a super cut crease. I want a little bit more of definition through that area, and then bringing that shade back onto that lower outer corner as well. If that makes sense, you guys know what I mean. I just want to make sure that it's just nice and smoky and blown out. So once I'm happy with the pigmentation of that shadow, I am going to pick up my Born to Run palette by Urban Decay and I'm taking this gorgeous shimmery green shadow in the shade Wonderlust and I'm just putting it right over top of that shadow that we just put down taking the shade Ignite and I'm putting that right over that Baja shade that we put down. Basically what I'm doing is taking the shimmery shade of each color and I'm putting it over top. So now I'm going in with Stranded and I'm just putting that right over top of that mustard shade that we put down so that it goes from a nice lighter gold to a more burnt orange to more of an olive shade. So now I'm going to go in with a little bit of liner. I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Gel Liner today with my Anastasia number 14 brush. This is my go-to brush for liner. It just helps me go in really precisely and I feel like I have a lot of control over the product and also this is why I put the tape down because you just get a perfect wing. It did pull off a little bit of makeup normally if you have face makeup on it will so I just went back in with my sponge to touch it up but now I'm picking up my lipstick queen eyeliner in the shade depth of field. This is just a gorgeous deep army green kind of shade very similar to what I have on the outer corner so I'm just going to run that along my lower lash line. You do have to go over a couple of times to get the pigment so just something to be aware of but I still love the the product. 
And then once I have that on, I'm dipping back into the shade Baja and I'm using that to slightly push it up against my lower lash line. I want to start to incorporate the shades that we have on the lid and the crease back into the lower lash line just to tie everything together. And then I felt like I needed just a little extra something in that area. So I'm going to go back in with the shade Wonderlust, which is that green shade that we used and I'm going to push that up against the lash line to add more definition. This is also going to help to really complement that green liner that we put on that lower lash line. Now I'm just dipping into the shade Cleo Amore and I'm using that to go in and blend out my whole lower lash line just to make sure everything is nice and seamless. And then to prep for false lashes, I'm going to apply a quick coat of my IT Cosmetics Hello Lashes Mascara and beforehand I'm just going to really quickly curl my lashes. I have found that this helps to make my false lashes blend a lot more with my natural lashes because my natural lashes are honestly just stick straight. It's really inconvenient and upsetting. I'm not really a fan but honestly I really can't do much about it so curling them just really helps them to blend nicely together I'm sure you recognize these lashes. These are the style Sassy by Tracy Cosmetics. These are a ride or die style for me. I love them so much. If I don't know what lashes to wear, I will usually reach for this pair because you can really make them look a little bit more dramatic or a little bit more natural depending on where you place them. You guys already know I have a coupon code with Tracy Cosmetics, so if you're interested in trying out any of their products, you can use the code BROOK20 at checkout to save 20%. Now I'm just highlighting my brow bone in my inner corner with that stranded shade that we used on the lid just to add a little bit of a gold highlight and to tie everything together. And of course, I have to throw on some mascara to the lower lashes. I forget to do this quite on often and honestly, whenever it happens, I want to kick myself because it really does make such a huge difference. For lips today, I'm going in with my Morphe lip liner in the shade Bite Me. This is just a nice, more of a darker nude shade. So I'm going to line my lips with that and then fill them in. And then over that, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Nude Lust Lipstick. And then I felt like I wanted a little bit more of a glossy lip today, so I'm just throwing on a nude Revlon gloss. All right, ladies and gents, so this completes today's video. You guys already know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button. But don't forget to click the bell button so you get notified when I upload, and I will have my social media or my Instagram linked down below so you guys can check that out. Feel free to leave some comments down below letting me know what you thought of this look. I always love to hear you guys' feedback, and feel free to leave some video ideas down below as well and kind of help me come up with some ideas to film because every now and then I get like writer's block and it's a freaking struggle, so help girl out. Like I said earlier, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.